Well, dramatic moments at the state capitol today while Governor Ivey was promoting Alabamians uh, filling out the 2020 census. WDTM 13's Jeff Eliasoff was asking the governor a question when a protest erupted. He's with us now live at the capitol. Jeff. Well, good afternoon. Some days the unexpected really happens in Montgomery or any place in the world. Today was one of those days. Let's set the stage for you. The governor held a typical news conference to call for a complete participation in the upcoming 2020 U.S. Census. She said participation could make or break this state in terms of congressional representation and the $13 billion in federal aid Alabama receives every year. Now, away from the podium, I tried to ask her about the effect the coronavirus might have on census taking this year. And this is what ensued. Can you speak to the coronavirus and how that might affect the census takers and the people being asked to open their doors? Every individual in Alabama. I'm the sister of Nathaniel Wood. Excuse me. We're still doing the press tag. We'll you killed my you brother. Yeah, Governor Ivy, yeah. you killed my brother. He's an innocent man. I'm so man. sorry. You guys can email me. Thank you. He's an innocent man and you killed him. Governor Ivy. That was Pamela Woods, the sister of Nathaniel Woods, who you may remember was put to death exactly one week ago for the murder of three Birmingham police officers. This was a very controversial decision. Governor Ivey was whisked away to those chants of murderer. We never heard from her again this afternoon. Now, before the disruption, Governor Ivey said that every Alabamian should fill out those census forms as they arrive in the mail next week. On a very unusual day at the state capitol, we're live in Montgomery, Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13.